Hi, today we're going to talk about how to use the syllabus, how to organize your music, and how to really get the best out of your course, and how you can learn faster, quicker, and more efficiently. So go ahead and, and uh, get your syllabus, and pause the tutorial, and then we'll get started in about a second. So grab your syllabus, and we'll talk about that, pause the tutorial, and we'll talk about that in one second. Okay, so you got your syllabus. And uh, what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and turn to page number three and I'll give you an example on how to stay organized with your music. So page three, you're going to see an underlined uh, heading. It says here, lesson one, uh, key of C major and E minor. Okay. Now this whole section right here, okay, is all of lesson one. So you're going to be needing material music material, music sheets that go along with these tutorials so you can learn lesson one, okay? So what you want to do is remember that your music material stays with your lesson. So all the music material marked off as number one stays with lesson one. Now go ahead and turn to the last two pages of your syllabus and I'll show you what I mean. So let's see, I'm on page eight and in the top corner here it says material. And right under material, you have the letters, uh, the number zero, and you have the syllabus. Uh, that should have been the first thing you printed out, stapled together, and and keep it handy so that you can locate uh, your, your music material. You can uh, see the course. Uh, you can uh, have all the information how to go through a course. Now, under this section called material, you see where it says lesson one. These four uh, music sheets, these four items over here go with lesson one. So these music sheets are marked off as number one, meaning that they are going to go with lesson one. Okay, and that's how you keep it organized. And each one has a section in meaning, for instance, lesson two, and then you have some music sheets marked off with number two. The point is that you want to keep them organized in your folder or binder uh, as lessons or the keys that you're learning but the main thing is that you keep it organized per lesson so lesson one you keep all your material marked off as number one with that lesson in your binder and then the next section of your binder you know maybe you have some dividers or however it is you're uh, organizing the different sections uh, for the course uh, that's how you would uh, section of these lesson materials. So the next section or the next chapter or the next session, section in your binder would be lesson two and you got the material marked off as two and then you're going on you get lesson three they're marked off as lesson three and as you go through the, the course and as you're going through the tutorial the, the videos talk about what pieces of music and pieces of paper you have to go get so that you can uh, do your lessons and do the course. And if you keep them organized, all you have to do is just look for the section that you're doing. For instance, if you're doing lesson one, you look under your lesson one section in your binder, you got your music sheets all ca uh, categorized and organized in, in lesson one. All you have to do is find uh, the particular music sheet or paper that, that we'll be working on, and then that's how you work on the tutorial, work on your lesson and you don't have to be looking for it or trying to figure it out. You got them all organized. You got, you got two pages, two pages. The last two pages in your syllabus gives you all the information, okay? Now you, you have at the very end, you got some, some music material that's not numbered. You can either keep that in the front of your binder or the back of your binder, but just keep them handy because you'll be using every single material that's in your material section and uh, to your, to whatever uh, fits your needs, go ahead and organize them to the way that uh, best keeps you organized. Uh, these are some just some suggestions that I recommend how you should stay organized so that you can learn faster. And if you do that, it, you know, you, you can just do the lesson really quickly. Uh, you don't have to be looking for the, the music sheets and trying to find them. You just got them all in your binder. And uh, what's really important is that even after you have finished the course, these uh, material, uh, these music sheets, these lessons, they're very valuable. So keep them handy, just like you would um, a book or something that you found uh, valuable or important to you. Because you, chances are, um, if you're um, really into music, you, you're going to be using this material over and over in the future. So just keep them handy, uh, keep them organized, 
and uh, follow the suggestions either the way I, I suggested to you my ideas or come up with your own ideas and how you want to organize your uh, lesson plans and material uh, music sheets that correspond to the lessons the tutorials the videos that you're learning okay with that being said um, we'll see you for the next lesson uh, when you're ready to start